Hi, my name is Joe Cotton, and I'm the Director of Pastoral Care and Outreach with the Archdiocese of Seattle. One of the ministries that I oversee is our Criminal Justice Ministry, which partners with the Reverend Terry Stewart and the Youth Chaplaincy Coalition to provide chaplaincy inside the King County Juvenile Detention Center. And it has been my honor over the last several years to be a chaplain myself in the Juvenile Detention Center in King County and provide accompaniment and chaplaincy and ministry of presence to young people who are incarcerated in that facility. Throughout the years, I have had the privilege of hearing their stories, engaging in that one-on-one -on -one pastoral listening where we can create a safe space for young people to show up, to share their stories, to be heard, um, to have those stories reflected back to them so that they can have their blinders open up so that they can have a better understanding of what they're even going through. This is healing and helpful. And all of our volunteers and chaplains that work in that facility are able to provide that kind of care. I remember one time giving a, a chaplain visit to a young person who was sharing a little of his story. Uh, and at the end of the visit, I just remember saying, um, thank you for sharing, you're a good man. Well, later that night when I went to his unit, just to say goodnight and to say goodbye, I wandered into the unit and he was in tears. And I wasn't sure what was going on and I said, what, what, what's the matter? And he said, when you told me I was a good man, no one's ever told me that before. And that had impacted him. And that's the kind of impact that we can make as chaplains and volunteers in places like this that gather together people who are hurting, who are suffering, people who have been through immense trauma, and who are desperately in need of love. We're called to go to these places to bring love to places where, where it's lacking. And certainly this is a place where that kind of love and support and listening and care is needed. And I'm delighted to be among an entire team of people that provide ministry and services like this. So I hope you can support the effort to um, increase our reach, increase our ministry, increase our presence and our care and our ability to transform suffering into healing and goodness and love. Thank you and be well.